Survive the shot to die, nigga. Die, nigga. Die, nigga. Uh...
was crack, yeah, y'all making money, right? That was happening. This to my motherfuckers that they still trapping. We feeling good, feeling good. we feeling great, like three days. Okay, eat your money up, we ride big. If you a hustler, homie, get it how you live. Flip work, work, twerk, twerk. And Lil John on the track, go berserk. Part two, and I'm back. Tip of a blunt, cashing checks like you do on the first of the month. Sitting back, twisting up a fat sack of that bomb. We young, brown, and dangerous, aggressive, and novel. High power is a motherfucking army. Salute to the general, the one that's known as criminal. Still on the billboards, coming with the sickest flow. Still waking pals on the motherfucking digital. They know the name, they heard about them, talk about them. I bring the music that the CD store sold out of. They know the movement so bad to get, they know the label. Them young Hispanics that left the West Coast to stable. It's high power till the day I die. Fuck a record contract that said this shit is a way of life And I ain't talking about no papers I'm talking about loyalty, yes, and with middle fingers to them haters Play your haters and investigators, stay the fuck up out of the way Run it up on that Chevrolet, believe I let them out of spread Hands up in the air like it was a robbery Still stacking rap checks, no matter the economy We steady rising, still representing Talking a blunt before I finish my sentence These haters dissing the past, but now they been for forgiveness Some others wish they were last, they see us begging and wishing That I would spit a verse on 
the shit Maybe do a hook for no love for these buses A criminal straight ignore them Then I skate to the bank With a blood of that dank Give a fuck what you think Steady rising in the ranks In this west coast Latin rest Steady rising less Toast and bow to the label That's known to represent most <laughs> Now take a look at the shelves How does it feel to take a look at yourselves With your sorry ass music And your sorry ass life And your sorry ass flows Fools crying on the mic Then they calling on myself Trying to cry on my shoulders Let it be known You get no love from the soldiers So stay in call level And save your text And the fans will figure shit So what? Just save your breath <laughs> Come step Then you're playing with death I smash motherfuckers ass So watch your step And any motherfucking ride I roll the toolless cat On the way to Benny Hanna's With the Ruger tech Growing up since the youngster Yeah, I knew them best And they schooled me right So I do my best I gotta be honest I almost lost my motivation Cause the game is full of snakes And the shit was getting tanked But the week fell off And the wackness was replaced With the new motivation So I throw it in their face And some new shit Only the strong survive I proved it And that before the sun came and left the head is clue There are 17 championship banners In this building 11 from Russell 3 from Bird I even helped raise one But we're not here to talk about history We're here to keep making it Kenny. Kenny, the Atlanta Hawks, the Boston Celtics, I think experience wins. And, you know, I, I think that the one thing that Atlanta was able to do when they would always push Boston or play well against them was their, their interior was much more active. And without Horford, they are not active interior. They are actually plotting a little bit more. They are not as active and quick to the ball. Kevin Garnett will have a more successful series. Atlanta is way out of sorts offensively. But this man is not. Pierce comes down and rips a cold-blooded three. Pierce with it up the floor to Bradley. Ah! To Pierce for the two-hand jam. Crowd is stunned here in Atlanta. There is no older rivalry in the NBA than the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers. But now, the biggest games in that historic rivalry in over a quarter century. Well, listen, we can't let this team get 50-50 balls on us now. Long shots or long rebounds. Now, uh, here is Bradley ahead of the field for the lane. Hey, listen, overall, every shot we've had have been wide open shots. We'll take that against Spencer Hawes. Here's a handoff Pierce. Pierce draws two men. Swings back to Rondo. Elbow jumper. Got it! Another triple-double for Rajon Rondo and game one goes to Boston. We played a really good 41 minutes the other night. To win this game, we got to play 48. So for the Sixers, this is where they had the mental laps last game. Driving in. Scoops it in. Evan Turner. Philadelphia wins it to even the series. Our young guys just keep growing and, and they've really... Uh, they're really becoming men. I, I'm so proud of them. We coming to hit a win tonight. That's what we coming to do tonight. What's driving? Let's go. Guys on holiday, coming strong. Baseline again. This time he goes to the right hand for the plus point lead. I don't want to see frowns or anything like that. Guys, we're in the playoffs. A lot of teams aren't playing right now. Dominant championship caliber performance by the Celtics. They reclaim home court advantage and they do it in a demonstrative fashion. Celtic! 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 One, two, three! Rondo pulls everybody! That's 14 to nothing. Keep fighting. It's a long game. The brand new show been in a frenzy. Just, we gotta relax, guys. We got to relax. Williams on the drive. Hit the ball for Cuba! Philadelphia 76ers. All the way back to beat Boston and even the series at two games apiece. We ain't accomplished nothing yet. So I got a long way to go. We ain't together yet. Come on, you got to pull in. You don't pull apart. You got to pull in right now. Here. And we 
fell apart. We can't do that. And we gotta be tougher than that. The NBA playoffs continue from South Philly. It's gonna be a raucous crowd. We gotta find a way to force it game seven, and they're gonna be behind us. They're gonna be loud, rooting us on, so we gotta do it here at home. It's our game seven. It's our game seven. It's Allen Iverson delivers the game ball here in Philadelphia. All in for 48. Intense and competitive on one end, relaxed and poised on the other. There will be a seventh game in Boston. See you Saturday night. This is on the line in game seven between the Philadelphia 76ers and Paul Pierce's Boston Celtics. In the first quarter, it's Rajon Rondo to Brandon Bass, who's been playing. Williams, the leading scorer for the 76ers. Hoop and harm on that one. And Philly goes up 20-19 to 19 after the made free throw. Into the second quarter we go. KG, Kevin Garnett missing the jump shot, but look at the hustle from Rondo. He goes all the way in for the layup. Rondo with a triple-double in the game. Boston up by five. We go third quarter action. It's Rondo again distributing. Brandon Bass, foul line jump shot is good. Boston up by 11, 49-38, low-scoring game. Lou Williams outside missing. The open jump shot there, Drew Holiday steals the ball from KG, who got the rebound. He puts it right back in. Boston's lead down to three suddenly. Less than a minute to go in the quarter. Philly with the steal. Andre Iguodala with the gliding jam there in final quarter. Ray Allen outside, and you got to guard him out there. You can't leave him alone. Ray Allen drills the three-pointer. Boston up 60-54 to 54 as Paul Pierce watches. Rondo this time to Allen again. Another three, clutch three, 69-61. Boston starting to pull away. Drew Holiday driving and passing to Andre Iguodala, and the Sixers do have one more comeback in them. Boston working the ball around. Ray Allen, Brandon Bass, and look at it. It's Rondo outside with the triple. That seals the deal. Boston advances. They'll take on the Miami Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. Once again, Celtics Miami, this final. We won it, they won it, we're gonna get it. We're gonna need a game. And we're gonna need a game from everyone. And it has to be an absolute strength of one, okay, to get this job done. Turn up the pressure. We gotta compete for 48 minutes. And we're looking right at them, right at them, all game. All right, 48 minutes. Ron James, very aggressive right from the get-go of this game. 13 points for James in the first quarter. Now let's keep focusing, all right? When we defend, we win. Wade on the drive, gets inside, left hand, and he puts it in. And he takes game one from the Eastern Conference Finals. We have not given them our best. You know that. We have not given them the best of us, all right? So we can show them that we can tell them. It's game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. James throws it down. They're together. We knew they were going to make a run, right? Now we're answering with a run. Right here. Right here. Rondo on a pull-off. Just a brilliant performance. You're not going to see an NBA player ever play much better than what you've seen tonight. You know this next 12 minutes is going to be hard as well. Embrace it. Oh, here's blocked by James. The head to Wade. Wade puts it up and a foul. Guys not Rondo finished with 44, but Miami leads the series two games to none. Back home, trailing in this series 0-2. Every detail, man. Everything, dog. We gotta be the first to the floor. I need it from you. I need it from you. I need it from you. A lot of ups and downs, just like last game. But stay the course. We will wear on them, all right? And they'll break. He was on three. One, two, three. Hit him. Celtics have too much pride, too much experience to be demoralized. Boston Celtics take game three. 
here on their home floor. Overtime here in game four. The Celtics have lost Pierce. LeBron James has fouled out for Miami. Defensively, this is what's going to win. All right? Final seconds. Wade looks up. Head fake. Puts up the three for the win. No good. Celtics win it. And the series is tied at two. Yes. Our defense is good. Our offense is good. It's going to turn our way. All right? You got to keep supplying the pressure. Coming up on a minute remaining here in game five. Pierce for three. It's good. Paul Pierce from way downtown. A huge win on the road as Miami now one loss away from elimination. One of the interesting parts of this game is, you know, the pressure for LeBron James to get the victory. Guys, enjoy this moment. Be fearless out there. Shouldn't surprise anyone when a great player plays great. But this is beyond great. James tries again and puts it in again. Nine for ten from the field. Hey, you got to get that fight in, you know. We don't have it right now. Come on. What a performance so far for LeBron James. 45 points, 15 rebounds. Can, can I hope now you guys can stop talking about LeBron and that he doesn't play in big games. He's pretty good tonight. So now that's to bed. We can go ahead and play game seven. Championship or bus? Championship or bus? That's got to be our mind. Drives to the lane. LeBron James throws it down. You want to be champions? You know you're gonna get hit, all right? You gotta keep punching. You know they're gonna hit you. Take it, walk through it, and you gotta keep punching. Another turnover. Bass with a chance, goes down and throws it down. Yeah. Yes, sir. Rondo sidestep blocked by James. Bosch for three. That's good. Chris Bosch again. Bosch with his third three-pointer of the game. Manage your emotions and stay in the moment. Each possession, everything matters right now. James fires a three. Doc Rivers putting in the subs and taking out Pierce, Rondo, Allen, Garnett. And a much deserved ovation for some future Hall of Famers in Pierce, Allen, and Garnett. Garnett doesn't want to come out. And as we said, this will be an emotional locker room. Some of what the NBA, one of the best the NBA has to offer in those three. You can see Doc Rivers very emotional already. He's always said it, and especially this year it seems at times how much he loves this team and loves these players. It was an unlikely run to the conference finals. A team that was under 500 at the All-Star break, banged up all injury problems. And just fought tooth and nail. Every time you counted them out, they came back with a fantastic performance. Very much alive. Congratulations to the 2012 Eastern Conference champion, your Miami Heat. As I love you, I thought y'all gave everything you had for me. We had so many things uh, thrown at us all year. A lot of reason for us to, to go home, and uh, y'all just didn't want to go home. I want to give a lot of credit to the, to the Celtics. Uh, you know, they got a hell of a coach and Doc Rivers and, and great players. Uh, you know, and they pushed us as hard as any team has pushed us thus far. But we're happy to be back in this position. You know, we look forward to the challenge.